One of our challenges at this moment with the coronavirus is do I make myself a bridge or do I make myself a wall? We have opportunities to build bridges. I'm trying to build a bridge right now in an area that I am incredibly uncomfortable with, the use of technology. However, there's a, there's a fire, there's a passion that burns inside of me so strongly that I want to get past this discomfort to be able to communicate with you, to be able to let you know I care about you, to be able to let you know I care about teachers and students and schools, and I want to support you in any way I can. So this is a bridge I'm trying to build. Email's a bridge and Facebook is a bridge and Twitter and Instagram is a bridge. And I'll tell you, I have no idea how to build those bridges. But I know how to open my heart to you. And how to reach out my hands to you, at least metaphorically, because I know it's not safe for us to touch hands right now. And there have been also times in my life when I was so afraid I built a wall. And I know right now there are some folks in our world who want to build a wall. And I think walls are challenging. I think walls can be dangerous. There's so much separation. And right now the wall is the virus. That's enough. We don't need to create additional walls. Boundaries are appropriate, but boundaries change and evolve and grow and move. We all need boundaries. And one of the boundaries right now is I need to work with you and want to communicate with you so badly that I'm going to use technology, which I'm uncomfortable with. So I'm going to work with that boundary. But every time we build a wall, we're locking someone out. So what are we doing today? What are we doing today that builds a bridge? I'd ask you to take one action before you go to sleep tonight that builds a bridge. And if there's a wall that needs to be torn down, What is that wall for you? And what's one step you can make today to take one brick out of that wall? Thank you.